Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help you, and today in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite themes that I find in Cydia. Now, I have a few themes to share with you guys today. Uh, the theming platform I'm going to be using is Winterboard, and I'll have everything in the video description down below, and also our uh, Colored Keyboard HD for iPad. Now, these themes are for iPad, and you can find them all in Cydia. All the information will be in the video description, so let's go ahead and get started with the first theme. Now, uh, I have some trouble uh, kind of mentioning some of the names or pronouncing some of the names for these themes. So I just have them in the bottom bar here uh, of this video so you can see what the name is. So you can see this first theme here has a custom slider. You can see the slider here is gray with a lock. Uh, you also have a custom picture frame button, as you can see there, the custom picture frame. You also have your battery themed out, and you also have themed out up there your status uh, or your Wi-Fi signal and things like that. So once you log in and jump in right into the theme, this theme is all kind of like whitish. I really do like it though because it has like a white with a silver line on the bottom of the icons. I don't know if you guys can really depict that. Uh, you also have your custom uh, right here where your notifications numbers are. That is customized as well. The entire user interface is customized. Even icons that don't have a custom icon, for example... Uh, as you can see here, the pictures icon is all customized completely. But if you look at some of these, like Fruit Ninja icon here, it's not customized completely, but it still has a mask over it. So it's still themed out, so it makes the theme blend in everything. All the icons blend in. You don't have any icons left out. I've noticed that the only one that's left out is Cydia. I guess that's for the purpose of the jailbreak, so you can kind of spot it wherever it is. Uh, now, if you uh, rise the uh, multitasking bar down here as well, you have... You know, everything is customized as you expect your iPod player, your lock button, your AirPlay. Uh, you also go into your iPod and you have the iPods all customized as well. I don't have any music right now on my iPod, but you do have get custom uh, uh, cover flow and everything like that. Everything is themed out, like I said, guys, here, even the notification center. If you jump into settings, this whole theme uh, rolls throughout the entire OS. Now, um... As you can see here, your settings icons, they all get customized. When you click on one, it, it highlights it in, in uh, gray, grayish color. Uh, now, I'm using the colored keyboard. You can also go ahead and down the colored keyboard. And this theme, particular theme, has its own custom uh, keyboard, which is right here, this first one, Faith uh, Pad. All right, so if I go out here to my uh, keyboard, so you can see there my keyboard's all nice. Even the uh, Siri or the dictation button, it highlights in green, in uh, kind of like a whitish. It's set of a of a blue purplish, which is the normal the normal color for the uh, for that dictation button. So this theme overall is really nice. I think you guys could really go check it out. Even the volume button is uh, customized. No custom uh, uh, tones uh, for uh, lock and uh, unlock. But the theme is really uh, well built, and I think you guys really would like this one. So you go ahead and check it out. Uh, Insidia. So let's go ahead and jump on to the next theme. Alright guys, jumping on over to the next theme as you can see here. Uh, first thing you notice is your slider and your lock screen all customized. As you can see there, you got a grayish looking button here on your slider. You also have your uh, picture frame button is customized there. Uh, you also have your battery and your Wi-Fi customized. You get a nice orange wallpaper, matte orange wallpaper. No uh, sounds on this theme, no slide to unlock sounds for this theme. Just a custom, uh, custom standard uh, slide to unlock. Now, if, the first thing you'll notice here, the fonts are gone from underneath the icons. Uh, it makes the theme look uh, a lot sharper, I think. Uh, now, also, your folders icons are customized inside the folders. You also get like a carbon fiber customization within the folder. Uh, all, all the icons have their own mask, as you can see. It makes the theme blend in. All the icons blend in with the theme. Even though not all the icons are customized, like the YouTube is customized. And the you know the music application is also customized, but you don't uh you don't get every single icon customized. Of course, there's too many apps, but you do get a mask which helps it blend pretty good with the theme. Now, if you jump into your iPod, of course your iPod is going to be customized. Everything here on your iPod, even the volume and everything is customized. I don't have any music on my iPod, but even the cover flow and things like that is customized on the iPod's application. And if you jump into the settings application, this theme uh, goes out through the th entire theme. If you jump into Safari, whatever application you jump into, you get this brownish color on the top with the carbon fiber going across. If you select something like I have here selected, the uh, color keyboard, you get a carbon fiber highlight. Uh, as you can see, there's a winter board and then uh, color keyboard. You see it highlights it in black on a carbon fiber. 
Now this theme does not have a custom keyboard, but I selected one from the uh, color keyboard HD that comes uh, with the color keyboard. I'll show you in a second. Your uh, multitasking bar also customized, of course. And if you tap on an icon here, you get this nice little effect on the background that kind of makes it glow. Uh, and like I said, everything is customized, even your rotation lock button and your iPods and things like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the keyboard that I pre-selected from Color Keyboard HD. Uh, I think this keyboard uh, goes really good with this theme. Uh, it's kind of orange and black, as you can see there. I hope you guys can see that really good on this video. Uh, I, I think the wallpaper is a really important element of a theme as well. If you can change the wallpaper, I think this gray Lamborghini goes really good with the theme itself because it's kind of like a sporty theme, I would say. You got the carbon fiber. Even on your volume, when you move the volume, you got like a knob, kind of like a like a car or something like that so i think this theme you guys will really go uh go, gonna like it so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out in Cydia. let's go ahead and jump on to the next theme all right guys so this next theme is really nice and smooth as well uh of course you get your custom slider it's kind of all bluish again depending on the wallpaper that you use really brings out the theme so you can see here the slide to unlock is customized you also got your picture frame, your Wi-Fi as well, and your battery, just like all the other theme. Now, this theme is really nice. It also has a slide to unlock sound. Hear this. And if you sh uh, when you power off as well, when you stand by. You can hear that. So, this theme is uh, very complete. It also has its own sounds. If you slide your notification center up here, you also get a nice glowing notification center with custom notification. All the icons have this nice blue uh, halo, if you will, on the bottom of the icon. And it masks uh, all the icons, just like all the other themes, just kind of make the theme blend in with everything else. You get, Of course, you get your custom music application. Let's go ahead and transit to that. So go ahead and, uh, you know, you have your music. Uh, again, I don't have any music on my iPod, but you also get your cover flow and all the buttons uh, are customized in your music app. And uh, the theme, again, goes throughout the entire operating system. Uh, down here, your uh, multitasking bar is also uh, customized. You get this nice uh, glow from the icon when you tap on it. Everything, as you can see here, your volume, your uh, brightness, and your lock rotation switch. They're all customized within your multitasking bar. Even the little icons here when you get notifications... Uh, on your icons, this uh, see the number one there is even themed out with the blue. Uh, this theme uh, does have a colored keyboard. As you can see here, the settings application, all the icons change according to what the theme is. And up here, the theme is showing as well with the uh, with the icon with the application. Now, if you select a, a certain thing, as you can see there, it highlights it in blue. Uh, again, this theme does have a colored keyboard. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. It's a nice blue color keyboard. I really like this one. It's kind of dark, but I do really like it. Um, even the uh, dictation button is customized, as you can see there. Uh, again, you can do this with the uh, color keyboard HD. You guys can go ahead and check this theme out. I think it's really, really nice, even with the custom sounds and all. Even the volume uh, button here, when you put the volume up and down, is customized. So this theme is really, really nice, guys. So I, I really do recommend you guys go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and jump on to the next theme. Alright guys, jumping on over here to this next theme, like I said here, now you get your customs slider here. As you can see, the custom slider has a red glow going across there, and even the slider itself is customized, so that's really nice. You get a standard, uh, you know, picture frame button. Again, the wallpaper does matter a lot. Make sure you choose the right one. The battery is customized, and also your Wi-Fi up here is customized. So let's go ahead and jump into the theme. No custom sound on this one, just a standard sound. But then again, a nice, nice, well-built theme, nice, really smooth. Every icon is themed, even the folders, as you can see there, if you tap into the folders, you get a nice theme with inside the folder, and the folder icon itself is themed. Uh, all, like I said, all the icons or masks, even if they're not uh, completely themed out, as you can see there, is to help the theme blend in. With the we help all the icons blend in within the theme of course uh, up here you got your notification center of course that is themed out your ipod player of course you have your loading screen and you also have your all your buttons are customized even the cover flow and things like that if you have music on your ipod player uh if you swipe up uh, of course your multitasking bar is uh, themed out all your buttons here and your sliders for the volume and brightness if you tap on one of the buttons It kind of changes to an original button then it goes back as you can see I don't know if you guys can really see that and also your lock uh, Rotation button goes custom if you switch it it changes to do two different images So uh, this theme does not have a colored keyboard uh, 
assigned to it but I used one that comes with the theme itself or or with the color keyboard I went ahead and uh, as you can see here on the settings application once you select something it highlights it in red again this theme goes throughout the entire theme this uh, whole setup uh, kinda like all these nice little icons and knobs that are all through the entire theme let's go ahead and check the color keyboard that I selected from the color keyboard section there uh, I think it goes really well with the theme the theme is kinda reddish and black uh, no custom uh, uh, dictation button, but the keyboard I think does a really good job uh, of helping the theme get more uh, vibe and look better. And uh, I think this one you guys will also check it out. Again, these are all some of my favorite themes and I felt like sharing with you guys because uh, it makes your device feel more like it's your own. You know, you customize it to your own likings. Uh, even the volume button here is customized. Uh, when you put your volume up and down and things like that so let's go ahead and jump over to the next theme guys all right guys so this last theme that i wanted to share with you guys is one of my favorites uh, actually and i saved it for last uh, as you can see here the custom slider and you also get a glow on your slide to unlock a kind of like a whitish glow you also get a custom uh, picture frame button you also get custom uh, uh battery and wi-fi status you also get custom everything again the wallpaper uh, and this one, it, the wallpaper is really nice. It's kind of greenish, kind of goes with the with the theme, and you'll see why. Uh, now, it does have custom sounds. As you can hear this, watch. Now, the custom sounds also go into your mail messages. Everything is custom sound. Uh, everything that you do, even on your iPod, it, everything is custom. I think this theme was really, really well done. Uh, everything is themed out here on your music app, of course, your cover flow and things like that your uh, notification center and the reason I like this theme so much is because it's got like a matte finish to it it's kinda like a color that just goes really really nice with the OS itself as you can see here your multitasking bar everything is customized uh, your icons down here uh, your volume uh, and brightness your uh, rotation lock buttons and things like that now even your fonts are custom as you can see there the fonts are different uh, this theme also have custom folders as you can see there I like the grayish matte finish to the to the folder and the icons have a nice uh, uh, glow to them uh, every single icon has that same uh, glow to it or matte finish to it and it makes everything blend really really nice because of the way that it's built I think it's one, like I said it's one of my favorite uh, here you have a, the color keyboard that I pre-selected the theme does not come with a keyboard that's the only thing but you can go ahead and select one from the ones that are available in color keyboard I selected the black and turquoise uh, color uh, you get your standard uh, dictation button for that uh, and I think it goes really nice with the theme overall here on your settings as you can see the entire uh, theme is implemented with the without the, uh, throughout the entire OS if you select something hi highlights it in a, a bluish turquoise color uh, and selecting your wallpaper always helps make your theme pop. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video uh, that I put together for you guys of my favorite themes. Uh, I hope you guys, like I said, do enjoy it. If you did, please click the like button uh, right here on this video. It helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus If you have any questions on anything that I talked about on any of my videos. Now, all the themes and information will be down below, so make sure you read the description. And don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.